Welcome back to today's more report. Charles Posers on Wednesday, the 1st of June with me, which is market analyst at Antip Markets. Let's look at Euro dollar now. And we've seen this continued slide towards that 111 figure support, big long term support band between 110, 50, 111. And it is using that as support again. We haven't really, I mean, 1096, you'd still say 111 is basically intact. And you're still seeing that support over the last sort of three or four days remaining in play. Now, yesterday we saw a mildly positive, well, sorry, a positive candle turning into a negative candle intraday because of a sell off late into the close. Now, that's sort of continued this sequence of lower highs, isn't it? You sort of get these sort of day, day and a half of, of, of gains before the sort of selling pressure comes back in seems to be consistent theme doesn't it and it looks like we're going to put further pressure on that uh, on that key support around 111 figure um today we've seen a positive reaction 20 ticks up on the day um will it it is it a turnaround i think you look at these momentum because you say sort of nothing really showing yet in terms of um the rsi still below 40 macd lines still sort of bottoming really you could argue but uh, certainly not rising and the stochastics are not really showing a great deal either you look at the um, hourly chart and again the sequence of lower highs sort of old levels um, of support become new resistance overhead supply keeps getting sort of left yesterday's high around 11.75 again was not too far off that low 11.78 it just seems as though consistently we're, we're sort of finding resistance at lower levels. Now, the unwinding move, again, has sort of seen the RSI on the hourly chart back towards those that sort of mid-60s level before falling over. So uh, 11.75 or 11.73 if you're going to get to the pit, but 11.75 you'd say is the initial resistance from yesterday's high. And it looks likely that uh, we're going to see sort of again another rolling effect. Now, ultimately... Are we going to see a big breakdown below 1050? Because 1050 would be the big breakdown because that is the long term sort of key level that a close below that would change the outlook. And if that were to be seen, you'd be sort of coming back towards the 108 figure area, which was sort of December, January, February lows. Um, for now, I think we're st I'm, I'm still sort of uh, neutral on the on the medium to longer term outlook in terms of sort of whether this band will break. I think 111 is a, still a key level and that's holding. So you've you've got to sort of consider that is the support in place. So it'll be interesting to see if we start to see uh, a breakthrough of any resistance. So yesterday's high becomes the initial resistance, but the key level becomes 11. So 112.16, which again was this sort of old old lows here old support becomes new resistance so that is your uh, a key level near term and 1245 as well 1245 being that reaction high from the 23rd of may so you've got all this overhead resistance now in place and i think if that continues to remain intact then i think the uh, that there could be further pressure growing to the downside but uh, those are the levels you need to start looking out for you need to also watch possibility of the stochastics picking up the rsi picking up as well maybe that would give you a, a sort of a, a near term sorry uh, a um uh, an initial sort of uh, suggestion that the the momentum is improving but uh, for now it's just bumping along the bottom you've got this sort of consolidation nothing really going on yet uh, in terms of a recovery so um, for that I wish you good luck in your trading today and I wish you um, and I'll speak to you later thank you